Hello everyone and welcome back to Just Finish Coding. This is part 6 of our Cross Road series which we're making on Python. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Just finished coding. Now I have to interject here that if you've not watched parts 1 to 5, please watch them before you come here because as you can see, I'm picking up from where I left off and for this video to make sense, you need to have watched the previous ones. I will leave a card for you right here. Please watch the videos and then come right back. If you're still here, I'm going to assume that you've watched parts 1 to 5, in which case this is going to be the last and final video in our entire Crossy Road series and we'll be finishing up this entire series with the end screens in this video. Alright, so now let me scroll down and create a new function. I'll call this function end screen and I'll have one um, parameter that I'll uh, pass in, which is going to be n, just, um, just a short form for number. And um, you have to remember here that within our background, we had image one, image two and image three. Um, image one was the background, the normal crossy road background itself. Image two was the you win background and image three was the you lose background. So if n is zero, which is what the user, uh, the what we are going to enter in, if the n we are entering in is zero, then what we will do is switch the background to you lose, which is image three. And if n is one, then we will switch the background to you win, um, which is image two. Okay, so now we can scroll back up and uh, what we can do is we can go within our explosion animation and once that explosion is complete and we have deleted all the other items, we can just add an end screen or uh, the end screen function followed by a zero because in this case after the explosion is complete, it means that our player has lost. We also need to make sure that the player wins and to do that we can head up to our flag collision and after the cat has touched the flag and the score is five, meaning it is not less than five, we just have to um, remove the cat from the cat group. Um, we also need to make sure that all the other items are deleted. So add in or delete other items. And uh, after we've done this, we can just call in end screen one, which is the end screen for you win, which is exactly what we need to do in this case. Okay, so now if we run our code um, and we just move the cat onto a car and the cat explodes, we can see that while the end screen works properly, the score is still displayed on top. And obviously we don't want this to happen and we want to make sure that the score hides as well. So we can close our program, um, not the program, the Pygame window, and there are a few modifications we need to make in our code. So before we go into our main loop, I'm going to create a boolean variable called game on, and this is going to control whether the player has um, finished the game or the game is still going on. Um, so once you have that in place, you can head into the score display function. And here, obviously, we need to call in the global keyword because we need to make sure that uh, a game on isn't created as a local variable. And we can just have all of this code within an if statement so that none of this would show if the game on variable is set to false. So after this, we can get into our end screen function. And once again, we need to use the global keyword. But here we can just see game on is equal to false. And this will make sure that the variable triggers um, the game on is false in the other function. And as a result, the text never shows. So once you have this in place and you run your code and then you crash into a car, you should see that after your explosion, things work perfectly. And that is going to be pretty much it. I know it was a fairly short tutorial, but I do hope at this point you have a completely working crossy road game, just like the way I have it right now. If you've enjoyed this game series, please make sure you click on the playlist on your screen right here and that'll take you to a brand new Python game segment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next series.